Now let's see this question. In what ratio rice at 930 uh, rupees per kg is mixed with rice at 1080 rupees per kg so that the mixture to be of worth so that the mixture is of worth 1000 rupees per kg. So they are saying that we are going to mix uh, two mixtures and we are going to change the average of the mixture. So one let's say A1. So generally our convention is that we take A1 to be the mixture with the higher average. So let us say A1 is a rice with average cost 1080. Average cost means it is nothing but the cost per kg. And let us assume that A2 is the rice with average cost 930 rupees per kg. Now we are going to mix these two in such a way that the final average is going to be 1000 rupees. Right? We are not going to sell it at this high price or we are not going to sell it at this low price. We want to sell it at this price. Then how much of this rice are you going to mix? See, you can know, to think about it. You can say there are two bags. One bag is having rice whose cost is 1080 per kg. And other bag is having rice whose cost is 930 rupees per kg. Now we are going to form a new bag by taking some amount of rice from here and some amount of rice from here in such a way that we want to sell this rice, the new rice in such a way that the cost is 1000 rupees per kg right now i told you that in order to solve that question i told you that uh, we can use that diagram right earlier we in the earlier example i have solved uh, shown you the diagram so what does the diagram say a1 which means put the higher cost i mean higher number there and then the group average here the final mixture average and then the lower one here 930 right uh, now, I, this is nothing but, let us say this side represents the rice with cost 1080. So, let me call it as N1080, right? This is the amount. <coughs> and this one represents the rice with cost 930. So, let me write it there. Now, what I do is, I will take the difference of these two and the difference of these two and write them here. So, let me write 1000 only here. Okay, so what is it? higher value, the average of the mixture and the lower average. Now you take this difference and you write it there. So what is the difference? 80. And you take this difference and you write it over here. Right? So when I talk about the difference, you have to take higher number minus lower number. Right? So what is the difference here? 70. Now what does it mean? The weight of the rice with 1080 cost is to weight of the rice with 930 rupees cost per kg equal to 70 is to 80 that is the meaning of it got it so what is what does it really mean you can take this rice in any ratio i mean in any value in such a way that the ratio is 7 is to 8 for example you can take 7 kgs from here and 8 kgs from here and you can mix them up in such a way that the mixture is 15 kgs now you can sell each kg at a price of 1000 rupees without any loss right or you can take 14 kgs of this and 16 kgs of this and mix them both in this bag in such a way that you are going to get 30 kgs of the final mixture and you can sell each kg in this mixture at 1000 rupees right okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. 
So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral. Which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities, or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan, and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.